Hey guys, the text was shit again. Uh, guys, I haven't been recording for two weeks or uploading for two weeks, I believe. Possibly even three, I'm not too particularly sure. But, um, guys, as you can see here, there's um, a separa uh, separated group of flowers, you can see that. Uh, one is from uh, Clavopus MC Rally, and the other one is from uh, the same club, but um, a different rally at a different time. Uh, but, guys, yeah, those are just my, you know. Uh, average flowers, I'm not, not exactly average, but it's me, um, and most mainly it's actually because of the same thing from 1910, that's it. And uh, yeah guys, let's get into it. The first one, as you can see there, is for a rally at Broadheath on the 5th of October 2014, to be exact. Uh, I arrived there approximately 9 o'clock, uh, I enjoyed the gig. First signal was actually um, possibly the Celtic coin, I'll show you right there. And then uh, if we came in second one was a... Uh, you know, I have it, so uh, guys, if, if you haven't seen that video of the um, myself recording the uh, honey at the gig, then uh, go and watch that, the link should hopefully be in the description, not uh, in an annotation on this video. But yeah guys, bitch, on the uh, second one, I, uh, I did get hello with the club office, um, I found uh, a fair few pounds, a few coins, possibly even a Roman, and uh, an unidentified... Well, an identifiable badge, I can't speak particularly well today, but um, yeah, an identifiable badge, which I can't exactly identify, but I'll get to uh, in a bit with that. But uh, yeah, guys, let's start with the Broad Heath Finds. How big a dig? I had uh, some reasonable finds. So uh, a couple of people had Georgian silver, a nice 400 from, I believe, the rain, uh, well, say, 998 the earlier but it was still hammered but guys we have a nice uh, lead weight i haven't got any electronic scales or anything so i can't exactly wait see how much it weighs but obviously it's lead, lead weight um we have a nice ornate designed button possibly in georgian maybe victorian maybe slightly later early 20th century i'm not too particularly sure but yeah uh probably not medieval but who knows it could be uh, another nice one probably georgian it was the house on the site of georgian obviously so and then a nice uh, pewter or silver plated button. I had one of those on the uh, next rally. The um, Halloween. Halloween muster, I believe. Not really too many fans from there, but yeah, guys, uh, let's get back to it. And then a nice, as you can see there, button. There we go. And then a nice, well, fair for royal button. Uh, the inscription is actually on the reverse there. Or obverse button. Can't really. Um, determine that because the most base say bust on the obverse so you can't exactly determine which you get which is the obverse and the reverse obviously and then a uh, piece of well i'm not too particularly sure cloth or something i don't know and then a nice watch winder there i didn't exactly know what it was when i found it but now i've researched a bit and i've asked my dad who knows what it is it's watch winder so that's identified thankfully and uh, this i have no idea what it is if you can put that in the comment section that'd be brilliant uh and then Seems to be a very old, well I have no idea actually, it could even be Roman, Celtic, who knows, Bronze Age, because they actually found a Bronze Age axe head, they must have, possibly even Mesolithic, not Paleolithic I'm afraid, but um, that would be worth slightly more, um, yeah I'm not too particularly sure how old this is, but it could be Roman, could be earlier, could be, you know, later anyway, but yeah, uh, no forehand, no inscription on there, this time, but yeah, another button, as you can see there. Fairly nice, and this looks like a shotgun card cartridge on that side, but on the uh, the back uh, re reverse, if you like. It you know seems like a button, really similar to the back of a button. But yeah, and then this just piece of junk, if you like. It might not even be a piece of junk, but if you can identify that, that'd be brilliant. Uh, let's go on to this, possibly even a Celtic coin, but I think it's just a bit of slag, really. Uh, actually uh, something on there but I'm not actually sure and then uh, we come on to the coins two being silver and one being a forgery uh, yes a forgery guys you heard it correctly a forgery of a George the third bullhead shilling um, it's quite big it's pretty much worn away but uh, fortunately I can see the bust on the obverse of the coin it's not exactly a coin it's a forgery of a coin but it was once silver uh, that was a silver coin, obviously, but 
get a silver plate, I can press the lid of silver plate as uh, falls uh, to the left. And uh, here, draw the logo for the end of the coin. But now it's obviously two more away. This is 200 years, so it to be almost exact. Because it's dated 1816, so 19 years to, to be exact. I mean, sorry, 96. <laughs> yes, to be exact. So, uh, 1816, I think. But you can see George III's head. There's some light there. In the obverse, and then on the reverse, you can see the ornate pattern, pattern design. No. <laughs> <sighs> Quite original that. And then we actually have uh, a famous revelation we're about to leave in our furnace um, just on the way back really. Uh, it's a William III shilling of, I believe, a testament, but I'm not too particularly sure because the inscription is very hard to read. Fortunately, the, you can see the brush because without the brush it's completely unidentifiable, but you'll obviously know it's a milled coin. Uh, so. 1660 or later, so uh, yeah, the bust. You can actually see that uh, on reverse, you can see a faint sort of detail, but I don't think you're gonna get much from that. And then, guys, we have Mohammed of the Edward I. I believe this might say fourth signet of Hamid or into the dig if you like, because it is typically a value. So, um, yeah, it's an Edward the first penny. It's a quid half, so we'll quit it. It wasn't, I suspectedly, what well, suspectedly it wasn't exactly cut by the plough. It was actually cut by um, the person who wanted to be cut to be cut, so it could be worth half its value. Very intelligent man. I don't think they were well educated in those days, but by this, uh, yeah, they probably were because they knew the half the value of a penny was a half penny. So uh, yeah, quite well educated. <laughs> it's pretty much common sense anyway, but yeah. Uh, let me just get it out of the um, slip here, you know, Polly Pocket sort of thing, yeah. I, could, oh, I actually like, can barely think at this moment, I'm so nice. Very, can't think really to it, but guys, yeah. It's not very nice. Just like this a bit, and just keep turning it a little bit. Yeah, I believe it's of the London Mint. Late 1200s, is it? I'm not too particularly sure, but yeah, I can research much, much into it. Uh, and uh, unreasonably, and for like weirdly, I'm not particularly uh, interested. Well, I shouldn't really say that, but I'm not particularly interested in Hamid coins. So I wasn't. Well, I was very excited because this is my first, but um, yeah, being my first, I was very excited, but. I'm not actually too particularly interested in hammer coins this early. If they if it was full one I would be particularly interested, but yeah, it's got a long history to it, seeing as though it's cut first. To make it the value of a half penny. Or a half D, numismatically. D meaning penny. And half of one is obviously a half penny. Mathematically, so yeah. Uh by the way guys, this camera's actually got a spirit lens and uh, I don't know what interest to any of you guys but it might be i don't know uh but yeah guys that's that side and i must announce my announcement now i may be getting a deep tech vista mini possibly even well there's a discount on techdetectors.net uh they're selling loads of vista machines on ebay uh yeah they're selling uh vista smart vista no not Mr. not actually vista smart vista golden vista rg 1000 cd50 uh and the mini I'm gonna get the mini because honestly I'm not gonna get a very expensive one because it's a bit too much really. And uh, it's just a beginner switch on and go detector really, discriminate ground balance, automatic ground balance and go. It's a it achieves extremely great depth at um and very small finds such as like Roman Roman minims and stuff, so that's probably why I'm gonna get it. But I'll be making reviews and depth tef de depth tests on those. Uh so Stay tuned for that, guys, eventually. <laughs> I don't know when it will be, but you know, it might not arrive because it's coming from France, I believe. And it might take uh, a couple of weeks, not if several, not if maybe a month or four weeks, if you like. But yeah, guys, uh, hello. It's going to run out, I think, the batteries. This is a nice button. It had something on there once, but I'm not too particularly sure. I may need to review. Piece of lead, I'm not too particularly sure. And then, guys, this very, I know it's pewter. But it's actually quite a nice ornate design on it. I don't exactly know what it is, but it's... <laughs> I know you probably can't see it that well, but... And then we have... Yeah, I mean, can't see it very well. 
get a load and not keep sufficient. And uh, then we have a bullet, I believe. Okay, single, whatever. I'm not too particularly uh, knowledged or knowledgeable on um, military finds, etc. Military uh, miscellaneous items, whatever it is. But here we've got silver plated or pewter plated button, or pewter button if you like. Then just a bit of shrapnel or something. Then uh, this this actually coin, there are three coins. That, that one was on a pasture field, these two on a cloud. Maybe resulting in a better condition that than that one. Or maybe the reason for the conditions, the difference of conditions. But yeah, there's a head facing that way, but I'm not too particularly sure who it is. But I think it, I'm almost certain, I have a certainty of it that it's Roman. Unreasonably, but you know, it, it might not be. It might just be George and face might have just been eroded or something. This could just be, um, something. Wow, the force of that gale out there. I could just hear that straight through. Uh, yeah, it's particularly good. It's been actually very stormy and windy for, oof, say, a couple of days now, several days. But yeah, on the back there's nothing, and then get a nice, probably, I believe this is Georgian. This was the first find. I was very excited. I thought it could have actually been Roman. I think it is Roman, seriously, because it has a bit of a inscription, which I believe to be Roman because it doesn't seem Latin or anything. Well, Roman is Latin, but still, you know, it's very worn, unidentifiable coin. But the size of it, it has a lot of difference. This has just been worn away, but it, it's very thick and rather heavy. It has a, a very heavy flan, really. And then, uh, yeah, I think that, that one's Roman. There is, I'm quite uncertain of, but very certain of that and that. Possibly the uncertainty can be correct, correct me, but yeah, SDS, this stands for, is a badge. I found it uh, on a farmer's field. Well, obviously I got permission from it because my talking is completely inadequate. So uh, yeah, I got permission. It has approximately 130 acres of land. Well, one of the videos that I made, uh, like, uh, well, describing his land, uh, a previous video, obviously, because it wouldn't be futuristic, would it? And then, uh, <coughs> so I'm just talking... Got to get your double dutch here, okay? What is it? It's just not stands for. It's a. It, it abbreviates STS, but I'm not too particularly sure what it stands for. But if you could, guys, if you can uh, identify it for me, then please post a uh, comment or go on. If you on the Claude Hopper's phone, please uh, send me a private message, message or something like that. Because then you can specifically, uh, like, basically tell me what it is. If not, I'll just post a. Um, on the find section so someone can identify it but yeah guys that's all my finds from the two previous uh digs and guys i did actually my first dig was on the 31st of august quite a while ago now a tallow again uh, and i found i didn't find a single coin then so i didn't really need to uh, put that on youtube because i only found a couple of buttons but yeah guys those are the two hunts obviously found more uh, broad heath throughout the road to the hallow very um very near each other, the two places, but yeah, guys, uh, I'll see you in a bit on a, um, maybe a Vista Mini, because I'm very excited about getting that, because I may obviously get it, quite a high chance that I may get it, and then I'll make a review and a depth test and depth related, uh, you know, tests and reviews and experimental things with it, so, uh, yeah, guys, when I do that, I'll pretty much be back to you, uh, so in a bit.